In the 1930s, 357 Powell Street, a building which no longer exists, was one of the locations for the Japanese Canadian Legion. The Legion served as headquarters for the Nikkei veterans and as a base in their struggle for the right to vote in Canada. The president of the Legion was Sergeant Masumi Mitsui, a decorated soldier and an advocate for human rights. 25 years earlier, at the beginning of the First World War, Mitsui had joined the Japanese Volunteer Corps here on Powell Street. The Corps, 200 men strong, was not yet part of the Canadian Army. But Mitsui and other veterans hoped to be called on to join. But after several months, when the government refused to enlist the men in BC, Mitsui traveled to Alberta, where he was finally accepted into the Canadian Army. Of the 225 Japanese Canadian soldiers that saw action in Europe, nearly one quarter were killed. 13 of the soldiers received the Military Medal of Bravery, including Mitsui, who is now a sergeant. After the war, Sergeant Mitsui and his fellow veterans took up the fight for the vote. In 1931, they were partially successful, having acquired the vote for veterans only. But victory was short-lived. During World War II, when Canada declared war on Japan, the veterans, along with all other Japanese Canadians, were classified as enemy aliens. Even Sergeant Mitsui, a decorated veteran, suffered the confiscation of his property and years of internment in Greenwood in the interior of BC. It wasn't until near the end of the war that the Canadian Army finally allowed Japanese Canadians to enlist and serve their country. In 1985, the lantern on the Japanese Canadian War Memorial in Stanley Park, extinguished during internment, was relit. Leading the ceremony was Sergeant Mitsui, the last surviving Japanese Canadian veteran of World War I. Three years later, the Government of Canada apologized to Japanese Canadians for unjust treatment during World War II. But Sergeant Mitsui never heard that apology. He had died at 100 years of age just months earlier. <laughs>